Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi guys, in the sections of this video I'm going to review the material that my lecturer Mr. Vitri gave to me about tourism hospitality and the material is brief history of the hotels so without any further ado let's do it learning objective the students are able to describe and understand the hotel's history. Second, the students are able to identify the timeline development of hotels. That makes sense. Okay, we go into the first metry. Staying at hotel is something obvious. Uh, from little beauty to large chains, they can be found all around the world. But there's two questions. Where did they come from and what is the history of the hotels? And here, I'm going to explain for you. First, we're going to the today's hotel, Rapid Growth. The development of islands, especially budget islands, more people from walks or life can afford to travel. According to the Global Business Travel Association in 2015, Global business travel spent top record breaking 1.2 million US dollars. That's a lot of money. Now we're going to flashback to the first time. In the beginning, an establishment providing accommodations, meals, and other service for travelers and the tourists. That was the meaning of the hotels. But where does the word come from? I mean hotel's word. Its origins goes all the way back to the old French word named hostel. Later transitions into hotel and adapt by the Middle English. We go into the 8th century. In the beginning of the hospitality industry goes all the way back to the ancient Greek and Roman culture. The lodgings were being built next to the thermal baths in the research towns and on the routes popular amongst the government officials. Similar locations were popular on the roads of the caravans of the Middle East, back when mostly the rich, the traders and the politicians were the main customers for the early hoteliers. Now we're going to the next speech. In the Middle Age, the popularities of the monasteries and abbeys, they offer a bath and super to all the travelers, not just the political and the rich. There were inns with small rooms, often the shares, taverns, tables, and house of the owners all in one place. So this is this explain how the hotel grows. They provide some small rooms and many service. Okay, we're going to the next page. We're going to the 7th century. The inns become very popular, okay? Hosting travelers, offering them food, changing their tires, and tending to the horse. Okay, they have a new service that is changing their tires, maybe uh, a car tires or something, uh, and tending to the horse. Later, the rich start to travel more, creating income for the inn owners. Okay, that makes sense. We go into the next pitch. In the beginning of the hotels, as we know them today, in 1972, the public uh, name sorry had hotel called the City Hotel, opened in New York City, the first hotel in the prison sense of the world, the Freeman House. Oh, the name is a Freeman House. Okay, opened in Boston 18 and 20, 29. We're going to the next page. Growing interest in hotels. Okay, this is like marketing. In 1983 was the year when the hotel real estate market came to life. This is why today we can choose from over 17.5 million gas rooms all around the globe. That makes a lot of money. Going digital. Oh, there's some point here. First point, the cheap flight. Second point, the creations of the internet. And the third point, the hotel websites. 
I think this is our, the easy way for us to get the hotel in this digital era. Okay, we're going to the last page. And what is the benefit of modern day hotels? Uh, the booking process is easier today. The bar for the hoteliers are set very high. Okay, it becomes increasingly more difficult to please the guests. Oh, uh, I think that means is uh, as a guest we can ask a lot of service to the hotel. So they that's why they provide a lot of service so we can ask everything what we want. It's good hotel that we can find in this day. So okay, I think that's all what I want to share to you. Thank you very much for watching this. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Don't forget to like and subscribe.